welcome all uh, my dear students in this video we'll see one practical problem and how our thermodynamics is helping us analyze this particular problem you might have heard uh, bursting of a tire i repeat bursting of a tire of a tire so now we have got some like uh, nowadays we have some beautiful national highways uh, thanks to our uh, uh, gadkari saab nitin gadkari saab so i came to know that there are many accidents out of many reasons one of the reasons is bursting of a tire recently we found on aurangabad national highway seven people lost their lives due to this bursting of a tire let's see what is the phenomenon what is the reason and how we can avoid this and finally i'll give you some tips when you are going for a long drive especially on a very beautiful road now you know my dear students let this be tire and in this you have say for example air so in the next video i'll be talking about uh instead of air if we fill nitrogen gas what will happen so in assume that we have air we have air in this and we know that the volume of the tire is constant i repeat the volume of the tire is constant so volume is constant and you can treat air as an ideal gas i repeat you can treat air as an ideal gas okay fine generally you know that when we inflate tires when we fill tires with air i mean when we inflate generally we inflate it to say 30 to 35 pounds per square inch psi and it is a gauge pressure it is a gauge pressure okay no problem and you know that you know that 1 psi is equal to 6.89 kilo pascal it is 6.89 kilo pascal hope this is correct now let's see and but this is look at this 30 to 35 is a gauge pressure dekho let us say we have inflated the tire to 35 psi now let's see what is this pressure so let me calculate it is 35 into 6.89 and this turns out to be so i am converting from psi to uh, kilo pascal so 1 psi is 6.89 And 35 psi is 35 into 6.89. It is 241.15 kilo pascal. Of course, this is the gauge pressure. Wonderful. And if I want absolute pressure, if I take atmospheric pressure as 100 kilo pascal, one bar, which is 100 kilo pascal. So therefore, P absolute is equal to gauge plus atmospheric. This is gauge plus atmospheric is 100. So you add 100, it will be 341.15. kilo pascal and that is absolute wonderful sir no problem at all this is the absolute pressure of air in the tire and you know let us say we have started our journey initially initially we have started our journey and this is the pressure to which our uh, tire is inflated wonderful sir wonderful now let the initial temperature be some 25 degree centigrade or 227 degree centigrade so i can it is easy for me to convert in kelvin if i take 27 degree centigrade initially i have started the journey let the room atmospheric temperature let it be 27 degree centigrade and my air has reached that temperature so therefore the initial temperature is convert in kelvin it is 300 kelvin and the initial pressure of air is how, how much was that uh, it was 341.15 it is 341.15 kilo pascal absolutely fine now you are running let us say the road is very beautiful and the mahol is too good and some beautiful songs you are playing and you are going on a beautiful highway uh now say you have traveled for 2 and 1/2 3 hours continuously if you just see your journey our tar is continuously moving on the road there is a friction and because of this friction heat is generated and you are also applying brakes when you apply brakes again that kinetic energy is lost and the friction is generated and therefore because of this friction heat is generated 
and because of that heat generation what is happening my air in the tire gets heated up because you are moving continuously my tire is continuously rubbing a beautiful road surface and you are also applying brakes because of that also now there is continuously huge rubbing of my tire with respect to road and there is a friction because of that high amount of heat is generated and that heat is transferred to air in the tire you know the volume of the tire is constant air in the tire is an ideal gas we can treat it so pv is equal to mrt mind you my dear students whenever i write ideal gas equation this pressure should be in absolute and temperature should be in kelvin and you know mass of the it's not leaking so therefore my mass is constant r is the gas constant volume of the tire is not changing this is also constant so pressure is directly proportional to temperature but be careful this is absolute and this is kelvin so can i write my dear students p2 by p1 is equal to t2 by t1 it is constant volume heating now understand carefully please understand carefully when it is continuously moving say for example two and a half to three hours recently uh, like uh, there as there were many many accidents due to bursting of tires one person has analyzed this and he took pressure gauge with him and he checked the pressure gauge after two and a half hours of journey to his surprise he found the final pressure as some 50 psi the original pressure was 35 and look at carefully as there is a continuous heat transfer to air and you know the volume is constant so due to the continuous absorption of that heat frictional heat now the collisions will increase molecular it is gaining temperature to kinetic energy of molecules increase as the kinetic energy is increasing collisions increase pressure is nothing but it is a representative of number of collisions per second as collisions are increasing after two and a half hours of journey he found the final pressure to be 50 psi so let me convert this in absolute uh, kilopascal Chalo. Uh, 50 into 6.89 kilopascal this is so many kilopascal let me take 60 into uh, sorry 50 into 6.89 this will be 344.5 kilopascal but this is gauge when he took gauge and observed it is gauge he observed and convert in absolute convert in absolute add 100 so 100 kilopascal and this turns out to be 444.5 kilopascal so this is my final pressure let us try to find out the corresponding temperature. What he did, you know, after traveling for about two and a half hours, he carried pressure gauge with him and he checked the pressure of air in the tire. To his surprise, originally it was 35. Now it is about 50. So let me calculate. So this should be absolute, this same unit, consistent units. And these two are in Kelvin. P2 is 444.5. And uh, what is this initial pressure? Initial pressure is 341.5 and the final temperature it is in Kelvin and I don't know uh, an initial temperature let us take it as room temperature before we started our journey 300 Kelvin so let me calculate this uh, divided by 341.5 into 300 oh my god T2 is equal to 390 Kelvin and if I subtract 273 you will get it in degree centigrade Oh, ho, ho, ho. if you are driving the vehicle continuously for two and a half to three hours, the temperature of air in the tire is about 100, 100, about 100 or more than that. And as the pressure is building up due to it's like this now, as the wheel is continuously rubbing the ground due to frictional heat, that heat is added to air in the air in the tire. And because of that, the temperature is increasing. But you know, it is a constant volume in, uh, heating. As the temperature is increasing from, say, for example, uh, 27, 30 degrees centigrade to about 100. As the temperature is increasing, it is a constant volume heating. The pressure is also increasing. And when the pressure increases, and if our tires are weak, let us say, not new, and at, at some weak point, that high pressure will burst and the crack is developed. When the crack is developed, 
and you know it bursts and you may be traveling who knows it's a beautiful road and you may be traveling at 120 130 or 100 kilometers even 140 kilometers per hour and you know what is going to happen so this is the thermodynamics behind our bursting of tire and whenever you are traveling whenever you go for a long journey remember your thermo teacher and after every two hours take a break sit for about uh, 20 uh, 10 15 minutes let it cool down when you are stopping the vehicle and now the air cools down when it cools down look at constant volume it's constant volume when it cools down the pressure drops and when the pressure drops again maybe from 50 it may come back to 30 and again you can go for a beautiful journey so please remember this tip if they ask in interview you explain like this and one more thing when you and i always wish a happy life for you so when you purchase a new car take care of all this or any car no matter why if it is a new car tires will be perfect so there is the chances are less but if the tires are old worn out then this problem comes so happy journey take care of thermodynamics take care of thermodynamics thank you my dear students